up again nice and early. Just last night I decided on my next stop. I decided to go to Feng Huang. I know I'm mispronouncing that Feng Huang, I think. The English name is Phoenix Ancient Town. And that's what it's known as in the backpacking community. It's not an easy town to get to. It's, the reason is that there's, it's a very small little town. It's known as, you know, this ancient city that, that hasn't changed with the rest of China. Kind of this, this pocket of history there. And it's very iconic and picturesque. Now, there's no trains that go to this city. There is a highway. It's brand new. It just opened up. And that has increased tourism there. But unless you're driving, the only way to get there is by bus. Now, from this town in central Hunan, there are only two buses that go per day. One early in the morning and one late in the evening. Now, obviously, I need to take the early morning one, which is why I'm up so early and trying to get to the bus station. And unfortunately, as a foreigner, you cannot order your tickets online for bus rides. You simply have to go stand in a queue and pray that there's a seat for you. And all the bus rides should take about three and a half hours. <clears throat> if I miss this bus, or if I don't get a seat, then I have to go back to Zhangjiajie city. And uh, from there, there's like uh, 10 buses per day that go from the main terminal. But that's just gonna add another two to three hours to my journey. Nothing will ever replace bacon and eggs for breakfast, but I have come to learn to love Chinese breakfast. Some pork baozi. Poor pup. That's a terrible way to travel. Oh. Here's a lesson. Get your tickets early because uh, you never know when the bus is going to sell out. I got the last seat. Something happened up front, it looks like somebody threw up, got sick, and uh, got on this poor guy's shirt. It's always an adventure in China. <laughs> Alright, time for a stop, stretch our legs, use the restroom. We're at some kind of rest stop. It's a new highway headed to this uh, to this ancient town that I'm going to. And uh, it's a brand new rest stop, probably the nicest rest stop I've ever seen. So, you know, even though the seat that I got is the worst seat in the bus, and it's really hot and annoying and very uncomfortable, I can't say that I'm roughing it too much. of an open air restrooms. Have a little market with some fresh fruit. I really don't want to get back on that bus. Eh, just about another hour and a half. She has been talking for about 20 minutes, but it's very loud, and everyone is annoyed. She's selling snacks. 30 minutes now. I'm not quite sure what that is. I know what that is. This is really good, but it'll make your tongue tingle. She finished in about 35 minutes. People clapped. And she went back to talking. This is the most annoying bus ride I've ever been on. It's actually starting to give me a headache. It's so loud. And all she's doing is selling us snacks. So we're going on about 40, 45 minutes of this sales spiel right now. All I want to do is rest. I want to lean up against this and fall asleep. And I have to yell at you so that you can hear me.
and all that trip took longer than I anticipated. It took almost five hours to get here. So that's okay. I got the afternoon to relax. And what I haven't done yet is decided to where I want to go to after this. Um, I don't want to go to Shanghai in the weekend. I think I can go to Chongqing. I've always wanted to go there, but I was going to save it for another time. But I might want to do it anyways because it's a giant city and it's a mountainous city and there's supposed to be some amazing things there. It's like the new hotspot tourist city in China. And then I can spend the weekend there and enjoy myself and then next week I can go to Shanghai and hit up Disneyland and all of that during the week where there's, when there's hopefully less people. That down there is where I'm trying to get to. Uh, the ancient city, the river goes this way and around the corner. They're expecting me at this little guest house that is along this river, right in the heart and the center of the ancient town, Yue Zhonglo River View Inn. And of course, there's construction here too. Oh, this looks to be it. There doesn't seem to be anybody here at the moment. They just said, oh, they're. Megoret kind of come out in. <laughs> they didn't have anyone that booked the double bed. So it's got two double sized beds. It's meant for four people, but it's just me. So I'm not going to complain about that. But the linens look very, very soft. The beds are very soft. It's got a flat screen TV. Uh, I dig the little nest chair. An actual desk. I can get some work done because I haven't had that in the last couple of days. And then uh, here you got my view, which is just like a little alley. Another hotel across the street. A little sink basin. And then the wet bath. And again, the running theme for this trip is to not break the bank. So 133 RMB per night to stay in a room this big on the river. That's probably the best deal in town, I think. One minor problem is that there's no electricity until 5 o'clock, but that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to be out and about. All my batteries are charged, so I'm good to go. Shut the door. Uh, well, I had a nice little nap. Power has been restored, but I'm starving, so I'm going to go wander out and look for some food. I don't have a map of the area. I don't know anything about it, really. I think power must have been off throughout the whole city because there's um, uh, no restaurants open and nobody's got food. A couple generators still running. Oh man, these look famous. This is pretty insanely beautiful. <laughs> there's no doubt. Check it out. People love to take pictures. Okay, so I'm just sitting down to have a quick dinner, but this place is amazing. I've just walked around for a little bit looking for a place to eat, and look where I'm at. It's insane. And um, I can't wait to spend the day tomorrow walking around this beautiful town. So until then, we'll see you tomorrow.